Okay, rhythm game in Godot. So it's possible, you can do it. And it's not so difficult. You just need to understand that there's this technology called MIDI. This is what MIDI looks like. This is a music program. This is the program I made the song in. And when we hear the drums, that's not some real person playing the drums, right? I'm just typing it out as MIDI data. So you can see this is the kick drum. This is the hi-hat and this is the snare drum. What we do is we get this data and we organize it a little bit. So we create two tracks, play and animation. Animation is to drive the animation of this drum here. And then another track called play, which is to drive the data of the arrows. And notice the arrows have to be a little offset. And then we use, if we go into the asset library, Godot MIDI player plays MIDIs. It works very well. You just add the node, then you get this signal, a MIDI event, right? When a note comes in, I'm creating these arrows. I'm not gonna go into detail of the arrow, it's an arrow, guys. But then the tricky part is the input, right? How does it know, if you watch, when I press the key, that it's, that it's captured it? Well, what it's doing is very simple. Is that every time there's a note coming in, then for left, right, up, and down, for this, 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 and this, I keep a cue of the next note that's gonna happen. And then in the process loop, I just loop over the cues for each of those. And I say, okay, test, is there a hit? And the test hit is just saying, okay, I expected this note to be played at, you know, 15.5 seconds. And then if it is, we pop it off and we play a cool animation called hit. Um, and then we print hit, else it's too early. And in a game, you would like takeaway score. The last thing is the animation of the drum. You can see it bounces up and down. What I do is that I just get another MIDI player that plays the animation track. So if we go back to Bitwig here, you can see that I have an animation track and it's playing a beat of a drum. Look, kick, a snare, and a kick. Thing. See, kick, snare, kick, snare. Why do I have two MIDI players? Well, because the first MIDI player that powers the arrows, that has to actually start a second earlier than the music so that the player can actually see the, the arrows as they come. Yeah, so that's it. Making a rhythm game and oh yeah, and then I, I whack a CRT shader on it because my drawing is actually pretty bad. That is a rhythm game in Godot. This took me maybe like two hours to do. Um, I think the important part here is you know MIDI exists and you can drive stuff with MIDI. You don't have to use any magic secret technology or painstakingly, you know, go through an audio track and put in little keyframes in the animation player. I, I saw someone doing that. You don't need to do that. So yeah, that is a Godot rhythm game. You should definitely make one. They're actually kind of fun. Let's go again.